Hi everybody, thank you for clicking on my video. This has been a video I've been wanting to do for a while. And um, as you know, I am a fan of the Armani Code series. I did also review Armani Code Profumo, and I'll put that link down below for you. Well, so with this break, um, video, I'm going to be um, talking about the comparison between Armani Code Satin and Armani Code Cashmere. And um, these fragrances are very much kind of like the um, original Armani Code DNA where they are heavy on orange blossom. So if you are a person who does not like orange blossom, then this fragrance line isn't necessarily for you. Um, so this is a designer line. So we're going to talk first about the satin. So this fragrance uh, was uh, launched in 2015 and I've used about almost half of this and this is my first bottle and I have a second bottle in my cupboard <laughs> because this fragrance was unfortunately discontinued and this is like one of my favorite fragrances of all time. I absolutely adore this fragrance. This fragrance is sold out at many places. I did find one website called Brands Warehouse. It seems to be legit up to you what you feel about it, but um, I saw it for around $95 for 75 mil. Some places you might still be able to see it. I have seen it at a few locations at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, so this fragrance, because it's discontinued, I don't use it as often as I would like because I really do love this fragrance. So I was not able to find an actual perfumer of this, but if this helps you, um, the original was made by Carlos Benign. And Carlos Benign, he has made um, CK Into You, Pure Poison, and Flower Bomb, and I think a few for Frederick Mull. Um, so uh, this fragrance, the top notes are ginger, sorbet, and pear. I don't exactly know what flavor of sorbet, <laughs> but uh, the middle notes is orange blossom, neroli, and jasmine. And the base is vanilla, cacao, praline, and patchouli. So I'm going to spray this here. And if you can compare the bottles, this bottle has more like a warm pink to orange kind of ombre effect here. Whereas the cashmere is more of like a purple to orange red um, ombre effect. So this bottle that I have is bigger than this one. I really wanted to get the uh, larger size, the 75 mil of this, but I wasn't able to. But anyway, uh, let's get into the smell of this. The sprayer on these is really nice. Um, pretty good at um, distributing it. Just gonna let that dry for a bit. Um, oh my goodness. Oh, mm, so, so amazing. So I definitely smell like a kick in your face pear for sure. As well as orange blossom, it's got a little bit of like a creamsicle kind of vibe going on towards it. And then cacao kind of smell. Really love this fragrance. Lovely. I'm going to be spraying one on one wrist and the other on the other wrist. I'm going to spray this on my skin. Now, the lasting power on this is so so um i was gonna do a little test for you but I'm, I'm i've worn this so many times and i'm just gonna tell you what it is so uh, the lasting power is about three hours both are eau de parfum formulation um oh my skin is so nice ah i love it i love it i love it so this is more of the chocolates coming out and the praline it's got this creaminess to it and pear and orange blossom. it just smells like like a dessert bar or something um, in the springtime. Cause I am smelling a little bit of Neroli, slight hint of Jasmine, but it's not too bad. Um, yeah, it's lovely, it's lovely. So that's Armani Code Satin. And now we're gonna talk about Armani Code Cashmere. Now Armani Code Cashmere was launched in 2017. Uh, this one has also been discontinued this year. That's had been a rumor. I have seen it at um, like department stores, like just before lockdown, but this was back in like March. Um, and also I have seen it at Shoppers Drug Mart. Um, you just gotta look for it. But if you see it, grab it because there have been rumors that it's gonna be discontinued. 
Um, so this fragrance is made by two perfumers. Uh, Carlos Benayim did this one again with Dominique Grappignon. Dominique Grappignon made Portrait of a Lady, uh, <laughs> Ellie Saab, Girl of Now, and Alien. And this fragrance, I've seen it for Walmart for around $95 and for 75 mil. This one I have is 50 mil. I paid around um, 85 for this fragrance and this was from Shoppers Drug Mart. And the top notes of this are Orange Blossom, Jasmine Sand Black, which I was really not into really much, but I did smell this and I did end up buying it. Uh, middle notes is almond milk, heliotrope, and iris. And the base is suede, leather, incense, and patchouli. So this is um, kind of going to the Portrait of a Lady um, realm, <laughs> but not quite. So anyway, um, I have one here. I made a marking here so I can smell. And um, oops, <laughs> let's smell this here. All right. So this one is more like, so this one has definitely smells more like orange blossom. The first one smelled like the pear. This is the first note that I smell is orange blossom. I do smell some jasmine. It's got that weird like butteriness that jasmine tends to have, but it's not bad. It seems to complement it like, you know, it's like I wouldn't eat a jar of mustard, but I like mustard on a burger. <laughs> um, definitely smell the almond milk. It smells very milky. Um, and it's got some smoothness in, of the suede. And then when you smell it, it also smells like you've got a little bit of like a tickle in the back of your throat, which kind of makes me think of the inside of a leather boot. To me, this smells like the feminine version of Armani Code Profumo. And that's what I've mentioned before in that video that I made yesterday. So I'm going to spray this on my skin. Um, this one smells more like niche, and this one smells more of that designer, fruity, floral kind of fragrance. So I'm going to smell this on my wrist. I sprayed it right here. So yeah, this one is nice. Um, I definitely smell like the leather and the heliotrope. This does smell a touch more floral than this one. This one is like very much gourmand. And then this one is more like it is also gourmand and sweet, but it's more like, um, I don't know. I, um, let's see. Okay. I want to smell the paper. So on paper, there is a freshness of the heliotrope coming out and it smells like almond. And I don't smell any incense, thank God, because I don't like incense. Um, and it's got the warmth of the patchouli as well. And the orange blossom is still there, for sure. So I'm wearing this here. I'm going to smell it on my skin. So on my skin, it smells more like orange blossom. Um, it smells to me closer to the original Armani Code. Um, the original Armani Code... They all have that DNA um, with the orange blossom, but this one smells more like it. And uh, it smells like the iris is there too. It smells like there's some sort of purple flower in it. It smells purple, if that makes any sense, because it does look kind of purple, the bottle. So to me, it smells more like purple. Um, <laughs> and um, I definitely smell more of the leather now. So after about three hours, there is a leather scent to it. If you are wearing leather, it really compl complements it for sure. This is more like, you know, sweetheart kind of girl who's into like candy, but likes to dress up a little bit. And then this is more like the bad girl version of this <laughs> to me, because it does smell like leather. It smells more, um, I don't want to say mature, it just smells edgier and different. So to me, this smells more closer to like a niche fragrance. So I do enjoy both. Um, I have to say because I am more of a gourmand lover and I have memories that are tied between this fragrance, I would say the satin I definitely prefer more, which really sucks because if you want to try the satin, um, I would say see if you can buy a decant of it or something like that. 
or you maybe you could just blind buy it uh, because I'm telling you it's a really nice beautiful fragrance um, both smell like they have purple flowers in them but they don't necessarily do but the so I'm going to compare the two so the satin is more sweet more praline more cocoa and the cashmere is more leathery makeup-y kind of smell with some smooth milky bits to it yeah <laughs> so that's my comparison of these two fragrances I absolutely love them and uh, I'm really sorry that I'm talking about something that has been discontinued but you can still find it you just gotta look you will find it um and uh yeah thank you for watching and have a great day bye